Hey guys, so I wanted to do a makeup haul for you guys today because I have so much stuff I've been buying recently. And I want to make it really quick because it's going to be a long video if I talk about each individual product. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the products I'm wearing today of the new stuff. And then I'll just quickly go through the rest of the stuff. So, and I just got back from work so my hair is crazy. Anyways, so I picked up this Pore Professionals um, Gel Matte Rescue thing and it just looks like this and I have been wearing this since I picked it up about a week ago and I love it. Normally I never use primers because they don't work for me at all on my skin so that one works really good and I'm not oily but matte always helps. Then I picked up this IT Cosmetics um, Illuminating CC Foundation in the shade Fair. And it just looks like this. It comes in a pump bottle. Pretty packaging. Typical IT Cosmetics. I am wearing this today. I will say that the first day I wore it was the day after I bought it about mm, this weekend. And it is very shiny. So make sure you use a mattifying powder over top. Or else you will, unless that's something you like, you will look like you're glowing from heaven. Like, you really will. So, the next thing I'm wearing today that I picked up, and I actually, let me go ahead and find them. I actually picked up a few of these because I loved it so much. I picked up the first one about a week ago. Oops. The Tarte High for Performance Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And I got two different shades. This one's in Fair, and then I got two Fairly Light Neutrals. I picked up three because Ulta had them on sale for $15, which is about half price. So I did pick up three, and I love all of these. And I am wearing it today. I'm not sure if you can see that I have no creasing. I've been wearing this all day at work and have had no issues. And again, the packaging is very nice. of usual wooden look cap. You know, the use. Don't think I need to show you guys everything. The next thing I'm using today is I did pick up a Lorac um, Pro Eyeliner in the shade Nude. And I am wearing this in my waterline today. I've never actually tried a Lorac Eyeliner, but again, Ulta did have them on sale for $10. So I picked up this one because I've been wanting a nice nude eyeliner. And it is like the perfect nude color if you can see that so i am wearing that today in my waterline love it the next thing that i'm wearing today that i picked up is this butter london bronzer clutch ulta again their 21 days of beauty had this on sale for i believe 24 bucks and it's regularly like 40 don't hold me to that but so yeah so it looks like this the three and I am wearing <laughs> this one today the more taupey one and then this one's very luminous you guys can see that it's very shiny and then it does come with the I can't figure out how to work this y'all please let me know it came with this like This like gold stick thing and it's supposed to be like I guess maybe an eyeshadow or a highlighter or something but it's not cute to me um oh you screw it <laughs> didn't know that so yeah I thought this was nice because I did need a new bronzer and it did give you three different shades for all different looks so I thought that was a great deal the next thing that I picked up that I'm wearing today is a MAC um, luster lipstick in blankety and I am wearing that right now um, just your typical you know everyone knows the MAC lipstick look and that is blankety right there and then on to MAC I'll just continue with MAC because the other thing I picked up that I'm wearing today is their um, Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in NW10 and I, again, I'm wearing it today, right now. I've never tried their powder foundation, but I just put it on top of my regular foundation. Very lightly, nothing 
heavy at all, but I did pick that up, and I believe these are 26, and each lipstick is 17. The next thing I got from MAC is the lipstick in Whirl. And Blankety was amplified, and this is just the matte Whirl lipstick. And it just is a little bit of a darker shade than this is Blankety and this is Whirl. Excuse my finger now, I broke it at work today. So. so that's all that I picked up from MAC over the weekend. And then the next few things I got from Ulta was... I did pick up a few IT Cosmetic brushes. I have tried a few of them. I tried this one, tested it out. This one is the Wand Ball Powder Brush. And they come like this. This one is the Conceal, and this one is the All Over. So this is the All Over, and this is the Conceal end. And lastly, this one is their... I don't even know what these are. This one doesn't say. But I'm assuming foundation. Which I won't use it for foundation. But that is a-okay. And then with those, I it did come with the It's Your Brush Love Cleanser. Um, next, I picked up two eyelashes. Ardell Natural Eyelashes. I got 110 and 124. With a black Ardell Lash Glue. I don't wear lashes often, but when I do, I like very natural ones. I don't normally wear them, though, because all I do is go to work and come home. Um, this is from Amazon. I did pick this up, the HD J Cats um, Skin Sealer Foundation. I'm going to decide on this. It smells really weird. And this is in the shade Cool Vanilla. And it looks like that right there. So it's a little dark for a cool vanilla, which I believe was the lightest shade I could find. And I saw Tati Westbrook talk about this, and she loved it. But to me, the smell's a little off-putting. It kind of smells like clay, you know? It's not a thick foundation, though. It is a very lightweight foundation, so that's nice. But, I mean, I don't know. It's a little dark, and it smells funny. The next thing I got was I picked up um, Lights, Camera, Lashes, Mascara. Always need more mascara. Now it's by Tarte. Um, I got what's up? Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Auburn because my hair is um uh, my hair is a reddish color, so I picked up Auburn to go over top of my brown well it's chocolate colored chocolate dip brow by Anastasia so I figured I don't want red eyebrows but if I put a little auburn over top it would help a little bit and that's how it looks I did try it once but I'm not currently wearing it so that's that and then at Ulta if you bought an Anastasia product you got this little like gift and it's like a little beauty blender and one of their concealers to try which I thought was cute. And if you spent any money at Ulta that day, they gave you these free Matrix Shampoos Color Obsessed Antioxidant Shampoo. Not sure, but they gave you those if you spent any money. Then I picked up the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. And if you bought this, you got the free Fireball. Is that what that says? Urban Decay Fireball Eyeshadow. I wasn't going in there for like any of this. But then I saw this Moon Dust palette. And I was like. I need that. So I picked it up. And I have tried a few of the shades. This is how it looks. And what sold me was like these blues. Like. What. What. That blue, this is um, Vega, and this is Magnetic. Then we have Lightyear, Galaxy in the middle, Lightyear, Galaxy, Vega, Magnetic, Element, Lithium, Lithium, yeah, Lithium, 
Yeah. This one's a little paler than I thought, but this is lithium, specter, and granite. Are all the shades. This is granite. So, and then when I like swatched them at the store, I was like, what? Like, that's just one pass. Girl, I'm going out to eat after this, and I'm just like making a mess. And then the Fireball I did wear yesterday. It's a pretty color. It's a very muted pinky color. And then I got an Ulta Amplified Lashes Mascara. And then, oh, and this mascara because they buy one, get one free. This is just Amped Lashes and Waterproof because you always need a waterproof mascara just in case. Then I did pick up the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray because I realized... What? No. So I did get the big one. Normally I get the travel one that's about, I think, $14. I'm getting makeup everywhere. $14. But I was like, you know what? Let me just get the big one. Because I never bought the big one before. So I got the big one. So, yeah. That's how it is. Love this stuff. Use it. Every day, and then the last thing in this bag was obviously it's not from Ulta, but I did pick up a few Jeffree Star products, so I'll go ahead and throw them in. Um, I picked up watermelon soda and 714 liquid lips from his summer collection. I picked these up when he did his 50% off sale, I believe, about two weeks ago. That's 714, and as you can see, they're still a little separated. I think they just separate when they sit because they are liquid lips. So, I mean, it's kind of expected. So, and then this is watermelon soda. I've worn watermelon soda. I haven't worn 714, but if you guys want a separate review on Jeffree Star products, like this video, comment, something, let me know. And then I did pick up his So Effing Gold highlighter, which I'm undecided on his highlighters, but if you guys want a review on those, I would love to do one. Because I also have, like, you just see that? Like, I also have his Peach Goddess, so which I do use almost every day. I do love the Peach Goddess, which is right there. Like, look at me, y'all. I'm going out to dinner, and I'm just, like, a hot mess. So, yeah, I believe that's everything I picked up this weekend from Ulta and MAC. If you guys want to see a separate Jeffree Star review or my opinion on it, I know that's, like, old news that everyone's done reviews on his stuff. But, I mean, my review might be different. It might not be. Who knows? So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe if you want more hauls or whatever you want to see. Please comment down below, and I would love to do it. Thank you.